Where's it go? Last chance, Dylan. Just take the money. You always did love the cashbacks. What did you do that for? Because I don't need your money and I don't need you. You didn't need to throw it off the building. There's nearly a grand there. Just go back to London. I'm not giving up on you, Bex. I didn't know, all right? It must have been a last minute change. You. I've got budging to swap tests. OK, so I kind of did. You know what, Janice? I'm going to give you this one, yeah? Nice little victory for you. Oh, thanks, that's sweet you, Ronan. Yeah, when I'm a high flyer and you're still here, it'll comfort you, won't it? Um, well, what's to say I'm not going to have the same career as you? You've got no education, Janice. This is it for you. Mr. Wisniewski, let him go. My office now. You too, mine. The fact is, you manhandled a pupil because he stole my phone. All day they've been attacking me. And we'll be suspending him, but now. I also have to suspend you. What? I'm sorry. I've got no choice. But you are giving him what he wants. He's sitting out there, happy. Mr. Wisniewski. Mr. Wisniewski! Where is it? Where's the phone? Hello? Victor? No, cześć! Cześć, no, jak ci poszedł egzamin? No, zdałeś? No, no widzisz, no! Ha, super! Ha. Słuchaj, no, no, jestem z tobą, no, zadzwonię do ciebie za chwilę, dobra? Że co? No, zadzwonię, nie mogę teraz rozmawiać. No, kocham cię, pa. No, pa, pa, pa. Wiktor, my son, uh, he had an exam in Poland today. A very hard exam. Did he do well? Well, he says no, but I know he did. He's a smart boy. Um, do we have to go ahead with the suspension, Chris, given the circumstances? I was wrong to push him. But actually, one day here is enough for me. Well, if you present your case, then... No, I quit. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. But I think... Uh, it's better for me to have a fresh start somewhere else. Where the hell did you get off to? We're gonna get this dress on, or not? I haven't got any money. Uh, yeah, you have. You got a big fat envelope of it, in fact. I threw it away. What, you threw your savings away? They weren't my savings, Jess. Yeah, I kind of guess that. So, where'd you get them from, then? I can't tell you. Well, it must be something bad, then, Bex. You're on the game? <laughs> Look, I did some things that I'm, I'm not proud of. I just, I don't want to say any more than that. I'm a sister. Yeah, and when I'm ready to talk, you will be the first person that I turn to. <sighs> All right. Well, come on then, let's go find a bank. We're going out tonight, aren't we? And you've got no money, so I'm paying. Can you afford it? Yeah. Got my savings, Anna. <laughs> huh? I don't understand mine. I'm not saying you're the perfect pupil, but you're smart. You've got a future. Shooing for university if you work hard. Well, Dad says university is overrated. And what do you think? No. 
I will just stay around here. I'll get a job when I leave school. Right. So you'll just throw away your education then? Well, my dad never had one. He'd have been fine if he got this job, wouldn't he? And cos your dad didn't get the job, that makes it OK for you and Kyle to harass Mr Vishnevsky. I ain't saying nothing about Kyle. We know Kyle was involved. We're not stupid. OK. One week suspension for you, starting from now. You go and you apologise to Mr Vishnevsky, and then you go home. So was it worth it? How do you mean? You got rid of Mr Vishnevsky. You must be happy with the result. I'm just sticking up for my dad, sir. Well, all the trouble you've caused today, I'm sure your dad would be very proud. I can't believe she thinks like that. And again, Ruby never was the most tolerant. Worst thing is she actually believes she's right. Well, she's the only one. It must be hard, I suppose. When you think something's right and everyone says it's wrong. Uh, not really. I usually bug everyone until they see it my way. 